Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Joined to Christ. In the waters of baptism, we are raised to him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God. In the beginning, you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert, you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. When we did not know the way, you sent the Good Shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Jesus' wounded side, and on this day, you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the water in our font, and for all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty, and give us the life only you can give. To you, be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, the strength of those who believe and the hope of those who doubt, may we, who have not seen, have faith in you and receive the fullness of Christ's blessing, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to John, the 20th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. 
On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If, anyone has, if you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my fingers where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You know, I'm guessing for for a lot of us, when we've kind of heard this Gospel passage read before, obviously we will immediately go to, to Thomas and his doubts but I think a lot of times we, we, we feel some sympathy for the disciples, don't we? I mean, here they are, they're, they're locked in a room, they're afraid for their lives because of the Jewish leaders. Uh, I mean, we can just feel a little bit sorry for them because that's not our experience, is it? I mean, we don't have to be afraid, we don't have to be worried that somebody's going to come to our door knock it down, arrest us for being followers of Jesus. So I think that, yeah, there's always been a little sympathy there for the disciples. But not today. I mean, at least they could be together with each other. I mean, all of us, we're we're at home with our families. We can't be with our friends, with our loved ones at this time. And so... Sorry, disciples, no sympathy today. But again, this passage is, is, is one that we all know so well. It's one that we, I think, connect with. You know, especially with Thomas. Again, Jesus' disciples are gathered in a room. They're, they're worried. They don't know what's happening. And then all of a sudden, Jesus appears to them. And he says, peace be with you. He's trying to assuage their fears. He's trying to connect with them. He's trying to say, it's, it's going to be okay. I'm with you. And he goes on to say a second time, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. This is essentially Jesus' commission for his disciples. He's sending them out to do his work, to proclaim the kingdom of God, to bring good news and hope to the poor, the widow, and the orphan. But Thomas isn't there. Obviously, Thomas was the essential worker of the disciples. I hope you're laughing at home. I have no idea. Probably not. But he was the one, he wasn't there. He was, he was out getting groceries that everybody needed because they're locked in their room. Who knows where he is? But the disciples tell him, they say, Jesus appeared to us. 
And he says, I'm not going to believe it unless I put my finger in his side, unless I see his wounds with my eyes, unless I see him face to face, I'm not going to believe. And most of the time we refer to this passage as the passage about doubting Thomas. Thomas doesn't have enough faith to believe the words of his friends. Or Thomas doubts, he's, he's angry, he's frustrated, who knows the reasonings, but it's always kind of painted Thomas as, I don't know, the weaker disciple. Like the one who, who didn't quite have what the rest of them had. Of course, everybody else was there except for Thomas. You know, I think it's kind of interesting how different situations and times in our lives, we Scripture can speak to us differently. You know, I read through this gospel passage for this Sunday. I didn't, didn't really see the doubting Thomas. What I saw was the demanding Thomas. The account of his friends telling him that Jesus had arrived, had shown himself to them, it wasn't enough for him because he needed to see Jesus. He needed to see his friend. He knew that if his friend cared about him, if this person he had followed and learned from truly did love him, then he would show up. I find myself jealous of Thomas. I'm guessing there's a lot of us who are, who are kind of asking God, where are you? Or we're crying out to Jesus, could you just please show up? Just, just a little bit, just a glimpse, just a hint, maybe, of your presence. Then some of this fear, some of this worry, some of this anxiety, then... It'll go away, and we can get through this a little better. I'm a bit jealous of Thomas because Jesus responded to his demand. Thomas wanted to see Jesus with his own eyes, and Jesus shows up and gives him that opportunity. You know, a lot of times on Sunday mornings we talk about being blessed because we haven't seen and yet we believe. Actually, John ends his gospel today with that blessing. We haven't seen the physical Jesus. We haven't been able to touch his wounds. And yet we still have faith. We still know that he is present. We still know that he lives and reigns in us, through us, with us, here, now, today. Jesus appears to his disciples in a time of worry, of fear. They don't know what's happening. And he says to them, peace be with you. Blessing be with you. May God's presence, may God's love be with you. Shalom, that, that grace be with you. Today I, 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 I try to picture myself there in that room where Jesus shows up. Because for us today, Jesus speaks those same words. That's his message to all of us here, now, today. Jesus says, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I'm 
I'm sending you. Yeah, maybe you can't go out of the house right now to do the work. But we're still called and sent. We're called to trust in Christ, to hold on to that hope we have. And we're sent to proclaim the kingdom, to announce good news to the poor, the widow, the orphan, the isolated. Christ hasn't abandoned us. Christ is with us. Amen. That night the apostles met in fear. Amidst them came their Lord most dear. And said, my peace be on all here. Alleluia. 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 When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord, he doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia. 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 My pierced side, O Thomas, see. My hands, my feet, I show to thee. Yet faithless but believing thee. Alleluia. 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 No longer Thomas then deny. He saw the feet, the hands, the side. Thou art my Lord and God, he cried, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. How blessed are they who have not seen and yet whose faith has constant been, for the eternal life shall win. Alleluia. 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 We'll gather together with all the believers. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Open the doors we close, O God. 
when we fear those who worship you in different ways. Guide us to unity and harmony so that we may come to respect and cherish our commonalities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the paths we ignore, O God, when we prioritize prioritize financial gain and convenience over listening to the groaning of the earth. Inspire all to care for the world you have made so that living things might thrive. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the rooms we lock, O God, to those who live without a homeland or place of safety. We pray that generous nations offer refuge and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the hearts we close, O God, to the cries of those in pain, incarceration, addiction, mental illness, chronic suffering, grief, and all in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the ways of love, O God, in the pursuit of peace throughout the world, and bless the efforts of missionaries, healthcare professionals, activists for women and children, and relief workers, especially those who find themselves in harm's way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the way to eternal life, O God, as we remember those who have died in faith. Free us from the fear of death, that we may embrace the peace you have promised. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Christ is risen just as he said. Go in peace, share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears did that grace appear the hour I first believed my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy chains 
Will be 